All right, we're back here still with Learning Guide 6, and we are on part two now. We're looking at topic one. Oops. All right, topic one, uh, write a general term. Okay, so when you see these type of questions, what you're going to do is when you see general terms, you're going to write down the formula Tn equals T1 bracket R, and remember the bracket's important, N minus 1. Now, what do we have here in this sequence of numbers? Well, we know T1 is 4, and if you look from number to number to number, you can see it's timesing by 5 each time. So we know the ratio is 5. Okay, now we're just going to plug it in there. And we have our general term. It's not like the previous one when we have arithmetic. We have to sort of rainbow in to simplify. This is the answer. All right, so I want you to pause and I want you to try and do B on your own and then just check with the answer. So hopefully you got Tn equals 1 bracket negative 3 to N minus 1. All right, let's look at topic 2. Now we're looking for a specific term. So in this first question example here, we're looking for term 10, the 10th term in the sequence. All right, so again, um, let's write our general, because general helps us solve most questions. So we go Tn equals T1 bracket R n minus 1. I write it every time, so then I have it memorized. It's, it's useful. Okay, so in this situation, what do we know? Well, we know that T1 is 1, so it's right here. And we know the ratio, if we go on looking up each time, it's 5. So we can plug them in. So Tn equals 1 bracket 5n minus 1. Okay, so there's the general. Now the general is the first step. Now when you're finding the, a specific term, so in this case we're looking again, remember, the 10th term. So I'm going to be putting a 10 into the T, into the end spot. Okay, so let's write that in black. So we're trying to find T10 equals one bracket five, okay? So remember that's powered up. It's not very nice, neat. So this would be, uh, if you type that into your calculator, I believe it is 1953125. So that's your T10 equals. Okay, I'll just circle that. That's your answer for that one. All right, I want you to try this one on your own. Again, pause and then just check back. Hopefully you got the answer of 1048576. That's the answer. All right. Okay, let's look at example uh, C here. So now, um, we have a copier that reduces the size by 60%. So that's our R, the ratio. And we like to change percent to decimals here, so 0 0.6. And we know we are going to do it after 8 reductions, so N is 8. And the original, now this is something new, the original, which is T0, is 42. So I'm going to make a special note here, because this is sometimes comes up here. 
that original or initial is going to be t0 okay so what i need to do is find t1 because remember our formula is going to be t n equals t1 bracket r n minus 1. Well, I need a t1, and I have a t0. All right, so that's pretty easy to do, because I'll just write out a little sequence here. Uh, we got 42, comma. Now, if I take 60%, remember the, the ratio is 60% of this guy, I get 25.2. So therefore, if this is T0, this is T1. And now I'm good to go. So now I want to find the size of it after 8. So T8. All right. So the original is, or the T1 is 25.2. The ratio is 0.6. 8 to the negative 1 and that works out to be 0 0.705 and the units is centimeters all right so there's the answer all right so let's flip the page and let's go on to these next examples topic 3 now um, we are trying to find uh, the number of terms okay so if you look at the sequence it goes 3 6 12 24 dot 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 all the way up to 3 3072 so there's a bunch of missing terms and we have to find out how many terms are from 3 up to 3072 all right so again this formula like i said you're going to use a lot it's going to Give us that. Oops, ratio. Ratio n minus 1. All right, so what do we know here? So we know that T1 is 3. The ratio, if we look here to here, it's 2. And now we know Tn. This is the first time we've using Tn. So remember, Tn is the last term. Well, that's the last term. So I have that 3072. Now it's time to plug and chug. So 372 equals the first term. The ratio is 2 and n minus 1. Okay, let's do some algebra. We want to get to n. So divide by 3, divide by 3. So now we are at, uh, what is that, 1,024 equals 2 to the power of n minus 1. Now we are going to do, remember back just previously, base change. Whoops, base change. All right, so let's make this 2 to the power. So it's the same thing as this. These powers want to be the same. And just playing around with the calculator, uh, what do we get? 2 to the power of 10 happens to be that number. And now we know that these can cancel off. So all that work is to get 10 equals n minus 1. And then we add 1 to both sides. So all that work is to get 8. Okay. All right, so I want you to try this. So pause and then check back. So hopefully you guys got to um, n equals 8. All right. And the step before that, if, uh, if you were doing it, I'll just go back one step. It should be 4 to the 7. I did base 4 equals 4 to the n minus 1 and that's how I got to there okay so I used base 4 in that situation 
All right, so let's move on to topic four now. Well, topic four is we have, um, we call geometric means, which are numbers that are missing in between. So let's write this out so we can see. So we have two, then we have two means, so I don't know, I don't know, and then we have 250. Okay, so those are the two means. So now I have to use my formula to find those two empty spots. All right, so we know from our experience, this is the TN, 250. T1 is right there, that two. The ratio we do not know, we're gonna find that out. And the number of terms is one, two, three, there's four terms. So now it's just basic algebra. Uh, divide by two, divide by two. So what do we have? We have 125 equals R to the three. And then you can cube root, cube root. So R equals five. All right. So um, you can, or we can do this one now. So let's look at B here. So here we're looking at, we have uh, no first term. We don't have a second term, but we have a third term, negative 12. And now we don't have a fourth, we don't have a fifth, we don't have a sixth, we don't have a seventh but we have the eighth term. Okay, so now we're looking at something that has a lot of blanks, a lot of unknowns. So in this situation, I'm going to make a fence here and make this section right here, like sort of a subsequence, because then I can use this guy right here just for the temporary time being as my T1 to solve the ratio. All right, so watch how it goes here. So I'm just going to go down over here now, and I'll do it in a different color so it doesn't blend in. So again, this formula you're going to use. So we know it's 384, and it's negative. And T1 is negative 12. The ratio we do not know. And the number of terms here, there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six terms in there. So six take away one. Now just some basic algebra. And we're gonna divide by negative 12, divide by negative 12. And we are left with uh, 32 equals R to the five. And then fifth rooted, or my shortcut is I times it by one fifth, so it's gone. I make that to one fifth. So R equals 32 to the one fifth happens to be two. Okay, that's not done though. That's just the R. This question is asking us to find the first two terms. So I have to go backwards and backwards. Well, if I know the ratio is 2, that means I'm multiplying by 2 going this way to get negative 24 and so on. If I'm going backwards, I'm dividing by negative 2. So the answer here would be negative 6 and negative 3. So there's the answers right there to that question.